What's going on, guys? Welcome back to Life by the Bow. <laughs> Safe to say, it's gonna be a pretty epic video. We have 500 gallons of fuel, about 200 gallons of salt water in this boat, carrying live baits over to the Bahamas. What was supposed to be a smooth shot, 150 miles deep into no man's land, seems to be turning into a bust. He's coming back around, he's right here! Get him before the sharks Here, come up, bring him up. Damn. Success stories aren't made by giving up. They're made by the ones that stick it out, and here we are. No! Real, 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 real! Get him! Get him! Get him! All right, guys, so today is going to be an adventure. I mean, the weather isn't favorable. We've got my father-in-law and his longtime friend, Mark, and we're gonna be fishing for yellowfin tuna. So the first thing that we're gonna do is catch bait. As you can see, it's pitch black. We're using the Psyonics night vision camera. And basically, we're gonna see if we can get the bait. If we can get the bait, that's the key right there. Mm-hmm. Well, we're gonna anchor. So I was trying to get there early because if people are trying to get out to go fishing, we're gonna have to pull up anchor. So right now we're inside of a deep cut here and I'm using my sonar to mark the baits, and it looks like we're already seeing some up on screen. I'm gonna turn a corner here where they were yesterday, and this sonar should light up. So we're gonna throw uh, some chum out, see if we can get them behind the boat. Based on what I'm looking at on that sonar, they look like they're here. All right, we're gonna go straight over the side of the boat. They're loaded right now. Yeah, they're loaded all right there, right here. Hopefully this will only take a couple throws. Toss like right there. They're there. All right, we're going straight into the floor well. Straight right there. All right, so this is a great start to the day because right now, Bait has been hard to come by, actually. We've, a lot of fishermen have been struggling with it. Once the cold fronts come through, all these guys start moving around. All right, here we go. Wrecked him again. Ah. All right, let's start transferring some of these to the back wells. Okay, well then why don't you start there and then I'll do that. All right, 745. We have 500 gallons of fuel, about 200 gallons of salt water in this boat carrying live baits over to the Bahamas. Bimini is approximately 90 miles. That's where we're checking in so we can legally fish in the Bahamas. And basically between Bimini and Freeport, which is where we're ending up, that is where we're going to be fishing for these yellowfin tunas. So this is year number three on the trip. This is the most bait we've ever had, and this is the most time we've ever had. So I'm hoping it's going to be an epic trip. So let's get after it. All right, so a huge weight has been lifted off of my shoulders. We're checked into the Bahamas, so legally now we can fish. The crossing took a little over two hours, so whenever a crossing is less than three hours, we can consider it a good crossing. But got the boat all docked up. What we're gonna do is we're gonna go to the beach and uh, do a little pit stop, make some lunch. But I wanna give a huge thanks to Waves RX. They're actually sponsoring us throughout this spring season. And um, something that we're featuring here specifically is these dock lines. And what I like about their dock lines more than anything is they're priced right. I mean, you go to these marine surplus stores sometimes and the prices for some of these things are just ridiculous. So Waves RX, they kept it real and they provide all different sizes of dock lines, different colors, but I've been using them for a couple months now and I'm really happy with them. But let's go make some lunch. Next up, some tuna. we've ever had and this is 
hoping it's gonna be an epic trip. When you're faced with a challenge, hope is all you've got. What was supposed to be a smooth shot 150 miles deep into no man's land seems to be turning into a bust. The forecast was inconsistent and the wave heights began to increase. So we decided to do some deep dropping to help pass the time with fingers crossed in hopes of the weather laying down. As we got tossed around, we pulled up a couple tiny winchman snapper and I'm frustrated because we've already wasted a lot of time with basically nothing to show for. So I'm thinking to myself, there's no way. I put in all this work. We have more bait than we could ever imagine. So waiting out the weather is not an option. All right, so we're gonna put the deep drop gear away. We're gonna spin up the radar, start looking for some birds. This Garmin Open Array radar here specifically has a bird mode, which allows us to spot birds when we spin it around. So basically we're just gonna run around in the Northwest Province Channel and see if we can spot some birds. There's no telling where they're at. We're just gonna run north, south, east, west, every which way. It's rough, it's gonna be tough, but we're gonna see what we can do. As the sun continues to sink, the harder it becomes to face the reality. Not only was the weather a crapshoot, but the birds were nowhere to be found. The birds follow the tuna schools to feed on the bait fish that the tunas push to the surface. So without the birds, we might as well be fishing a desert. Plus, at this point, we've already beat ourselves up by running a total of 300 miles with nothing to show for it except a couple smiles per gallon and a nice fuel bill. However, I've been here many times before since failures turn into knowledge, which is the only way to excel in life and here as a self-taught fisherman. Ultimately, success stories aren't made by giving up. They're made by the ones that stick it out and here we are. Finally, with two hours left in the day, the weather lays down and the birds appear. There he is. There he is, that's a yellowfin tuna right there. All right. Right there, baby. All right. We're marking them, guys. We're marking tunas. How you doing? I'm doing it. Hey, Why what? don't you loosen up your drag? I did, I already you're, did. You're gaining on them. This whole setup itself is made for yellowfin tuna. I really hope I got a big one. <sighs> <laughs> Woo. See how he's starting to dip? He's close to the boat. Hey, Clay? Yo. He's getting close to the boat. Is he colored? No, I just feel him starting to really fight now. Oh, right here. No! He popped off, I think. Oh, he oh, didn't. No. Keep reeling. Oh, no, he's on. Keep reeling. Real, 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 real. Get him! Get him! Get him! Oh my God! He's so big! Oh. Get him! I told Come you on. he got taken. Look at that! Ah, uh, right. Star got him, but hey, we still got yellowfin meat. Listen, the good thing about this size tuna is that there's a lot of meat to go around. The shark got some. We're gonna get some. And, you know, Persista really pays off. It's been a long day. And this is exactly what I came wow, for. Man. Luckily, the shark took some meat off, off of him so I could actually hold him. <laughs> because this is a heavy boy right yeah. there. Woo! Wow. Unbelievable. All right. All right. Into the cooler. Perfect. Wow. <sighs> now, sometimes you can get lucky, but for the most part, all good things come with a sacrifice. We're happy that we even made it to this point, but we had a mission based on filling the freezer. However, the sharks had other plans. The sharks follow the tuna schools and prey on the ones that aren't lucky enough to score a pilcher without a hook. Lon, I think I do yep. have your one. Grab that big one. He's Grab coming one. back around. He's right here. Let's you got him? Let's get a whole elephant. Get the gaff. Get the gaff. Get him before the sharks do. Here, come up. Bring him up. Sorry. No! Damn! This one's on. We're on, baby. Got another one on. That's the yellow fin right there. It's been a mission. 
We've been running in the boat all day long, just trying to find these birds. We were just on the verge of giving up. This is why you don't give up right here. Guys, we gotta keep those pilchers flowing. Ah, shark just got them. We tried our hardest to winch down on these fish with no time to spare for the sharks. But crank too hard, you break them off. Crank too slow, and the sharks get them. It's hard to find that happy medium when emotions are high, but when all else fails, you have to figure it out. All right, all right. Is, what, dude, what's going on with Stephanie right there now? There we go. All right. All right, so Clay, you gonna gaff him for me? Yeah. You think you got this one? Tell me when you're ready. He's right here. Go, bring him up. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Oh, look at this. Careful, one. careful. Right here. All right. Clay. Bring him high. Come on, high. patience, patience. You got okay, it. Okay, okay, bring him up. Bring, bring him, him up. up. I got him up. I can't see him. I got him right here. Bring him up. Bring his head up. Bring his head up. Oh. Yeah. Woo. Number two. Yeah. Nice. Let's go high. Where's that gap? Come Wait, come here. Get a big one? Yeah. Hurry up. I can't carry it. Oh, wait, the shark's here. All right, get bring, him up. Crank up, up, crank up, crank up, crank up. Crank up and pull him out. Let me just see. Here, get Talk about a perfect gap. Oh, Clay, come here. Clay, you get the fish. Oh, hold on. I got, I got the. Can someone yeah. move this rod? I'll put him in the box. Come on, he's just like, all right, let's go. Wait, why don't you try I got it, he's here. No, nah. you can't, it'll pop. You gotta gap him. Come on, Clay, bring him over. <sighs> bring it over. Wait, 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 wait. Just be patient, patient, okay. patient. Hold on. Get your shot lined up and then come in. There you go. Good job, girl. Get him in. Get him in. Get him in. Oh, careful. Y'all have no idea how tough that was. It's like you don't have any time at all. You got to crank as fast as possible and get them away from the sharks. Now that we have a couple tunas in the box, the tunnel vision opens up. Our nerves come at ease since we accomplished what we set out to do. Mother Nature reveals why we came here and she defies the greatness based on overcoming a challenge. Truth is, every mountain has a steep climb and you can't reach the top unless you have ambition or unless you have a helicopter. <laughs> but in all cheesiness aside, I love motivating our viewers regardless if I'm good at it or not. Helping others has always been in my nature and I love giving back to the world in a positive manner through my passions. Ultimately, it's why we do what we do and it's why we avail. To help or benefit and give others the advantage. We got Yellowfin tuna hat right there, baby. That's right. Available on availgear.com. <laughs> so if you notice, I'm feeding this line out really, really slowly. And the reason why I'm doing that is because I'm trying to minimize all tension from the line. So that way this bait looks as natural as possible. And Stephanie's sending out the live chummers and that's what gets these tunas around the boat all fired up is all this live bait in the water. And we've been running around with 200 gallons of water all day today just to hold these guys, and I'm so pumped. We're finally getting to put them to use. I know. Oh, they're right here, so Check this out right, right here. here, guys. This is how we're doing. Woo! Stephanie's on. That's the big one. Just gonna take them just like this. Circle hook here, little tiny one just for the tunas. We're gonna toss it out just like that. Throw them out with the freebies. Wait for them to get bit. I need to move it here, it just doesn't make sense here. Go ahead. Do what you gotta do. I need, I need your help. I need your help carrying it. Loosen the drag a little bit and then pick it up. Not all the way, not all the way. There you go, now pick it up, pick it up. I can't. Yeah, you can. There you go. Good job. If you ever get into trouble, you need to remove the rod, just loosen your drag a little bit. Uh, that's a good tip. 
I love this two speed thing, I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> I just like, whenever it gets hard on me, I go and I start using it. And then when it loosens up, I take it off. This one is big. Here we go, this is my lucky rod, baby! Clay, do you think this guy's big? Yeah, I'd say he's a decent size. What do you think? Oh, there he is. Sam? Yep. <laughs> oh, that's a nice one, Stephanie. Bring it back. Oh, that's a nice one. Get him. Wow. Woo -hoo! Oh, yeah. Look at the size of this one. This is one of the bigger ones, too, right there, baby. Woo -hoo -hoo -hoo! Okay. This is my first chance to actually pick one of these things up and film them because it's just been so chaotic, man. But look at that. Ah, I can't even lift them. That's a pretty. Look at me. Look at me. <laughs> Come on, let me do it. Okay, so <laughs> that's just the yellow fin tradition for us. Got that, Dad? Ooh, careful. <laughs> wow. It's a good looking fish box. So I'm glad that we stuck it out. We were kind of hesitant whether or not to stay longer, but we did. I told Clay, patience, we have the bait. The fish swam up to yeah, us. Yeah, says the one that was sleeping in a bean bag all day. Listen, I had to Meanwhile, rest. Meanwhile, my eyes, yeah, the yellow fins are airing out right there. That's right. About about 20 miles until the Airbnb. So we're gonna drop Let's it do down. It. Let's do it. I was the one talking to you. Yeah, I know. Awesome. Man. Listen, Christian, you yeah. guys are YouTubers. Yeah. Yes, I watch you on YouTube. Do you? Yes. That's so cool. To I, watch, yeah, I, I watch you books, guys books, uh, fishing, and, and you're so cool. Know. I said, you, know, you got your right hand uh, with you in the end. <laughs> yeah. She's cool as hell. Oh, she, she's the one that catches <laughs> all the fish. So. Yeah, See? I See? caught all the fish today. <laughs> All right, day two here in the Bahamas. It's a little windy to go fishing, but I figured since we're here, we're gonna fillet up some of these tunas and get them ready for dinner tonight. This is a nice one right here. And this is probably, I don't know, I would say close to about a 40 pound tuna right here. And we're gonna show you guys how we fillet a big tuna because there's a little bit of a technique to it. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna start right behind his pec fin here and we're gonna go down the center of his body. And then you just wanna follow that lateral line all the way down to the end of the tail. And then we're gonna come here over to the top, make a cut around his head. And then basically what we're doing here is we're cutting this fish into four different sections. All right, that's one big section right there. Now, what we're gonna do is we're gonna remove that second section. Look at that. Oh. <laughs> That's just one side of the tuna right there. And we got a decent amount more to go. So right now we are on a mission. Clay and I really wanna have some sashimi tuna. Um, just raw, well he wants it seared, and I want it raw. So we're on the way to a store. Hey! I wonder if this is him. Let's see. We found our ride. Woohoo! <laughs> they don't have Uber here, I've looked. <laughs> I like was searching, no rides found, so. All right, we'll be fast, we'll just go in and out. That's okay with me, man, the longer you take the more money I make, so. <laughs> <laughs> Look. Wasabi, sesame seeds. Oh, this is my song. 
you know, you guys see the videos and mm. us coming over to the Bahamas, and yeah. it's amazing. Like, okay. I wouldn't trade it for anything in the world, but you're so. looking at about five days worth of work. Preparation. Just to get this fresh yellowfin tuna right here in the Bahamas, and it's tiring. Mm. But it's so worth it. It's been... Woo. Wasabi got me. Did it? Mm -hmm. Well, we hope you enjoyed it. Leave a comment and um, we'll see you then. See you then.